Before joining a meet session, it's important that you take your time, check your surroundings, and adjust your camera if necessary. A good rule of thumb is give yourself a little headroom but not too much. In some cases, you might want to turn off your mic before joining the meeting in case there's a lot of background noise and then only unmute yourself when you're ready to speak. It's not fully required in most meetings to have the camera on. You can leave the camera off, join the meeting, turn your camera on when you're comfortable or when it's absolutely necessary. Google Meet is full of features and buttons, but they auto hide when you're not actively using the interface. To reveal all the buttons, move the mouse or click anywhere on the screen. In the center is where you can toggle on or off the microphone and the camera toggle switches to the right. The very middle button is what we use to lead the call. To the right, you'll notice this is where your attendees or collaborators are grouped. When you hover over each, you're able to mute one another using the button here. Keep in mind that they will need to unmute themselves to reactivate their mic. In the event that you want to end the session for a participant, you can use this button. It's very important that you establish rules about who's muting who and prevent that type of behavior before it starts. Higher up, you can see buttons for a chat, which you might want to keep a pulse for notifications. This is another area open for interaction. Again, activate your buttons by simply moving around or clicking in the middle. Down to the lower right, you will reveal buttons for closed captioning or the option to present your screen. Click the three dots and you'll reveal further options such as the ability to record your session or put the window in the full screen. To record the meeting, click record meeting, read and accept the consent form, then wait for the red recording symbol to appear. After you stop the recording, a file will automatically show up in your Google Drive labeled as the name you gave at the start of the Hangout. Also you'll see that the video is automatically attached to the meeting invitation. Lastly, you can start a live stream. A live stream gives your students a view-only video conference. You will not be able to interact with your audience and in some situations, it will be better suited for this option. Start by creating a calendar appointment like normal. Add conferencing, but before you save and close out, click the second dropdown that appears. Choose Add Live Stream. Click the button to copy the join info and through your favorite communication platform, paste the join link to your audience. This live stream eliminates the feedback that you might experience when a microphone should be muted or eliminate other potential distractions. This could be especially useful to build training modules for your staff or lessons that students can use at a future time. Regardless if you use Meet or Zoom, it is very important that you understand all the features that are available. Establish the rules with your audience so there are clear expectations. See you again soon.